what are you doing to train differently for Ra- Rashid Ahmed Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> what is his name, dude? Uh, his name is Asim Rockman Jr. And uh, I am not training differently, man. I always treat my opponent like they're God, like they're Godzilla, like they're King Kong, like they're the best fighter in the whole entire world. Uh, so nothing really has changed. He is a southpaw, which for the novices, this is orthodox. Left foot forward. And this is southpaw. <laughs> right foot forward. Is right this your forward. first time? So he's a southpaw. It's my first time going up against a southpaw. So we've changed that a little bit. But other than that, the training stays the same, man. I'm in shape. I'm ready to fight anyone, anytime, any place. That's truly the same. And ah, man, this camp has been so good, so electric. This week has been so much fun. And going to knock him out inside of five rounds. I don't like the narrative that you took for this fight involving me. <laughs> Which you, fight? Which? You, you used me as a pawn. Oh, for saying that, like you said that I didn't, I shouldn't do the fight, right? I said Isn't something. Si- I said something similar, dude. Who is this fucking guy? Mike th- can't even say his name right. Akeem Olajuwon. How do we know he's going to be that much of a pool that people want? I mean, anyone watch? who's a boxing purist, I think the whole right. boxing audience will tune in, which is different. I don't think the boxing purists really have watched my fights, but they all know his dad. His dad knocked out Lennis Lewis, yeah. the legend. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. all of the boxing crowd, I think mostly the people that were watching me before were the influencer fan base and the MMA crowd because I was fighting MMA fighters. Now I think it'll be the influence crowd, the MMA crowd. And the boxing crowd who will be like, wow, this is his first time going up against a professional boxer who's legit. He's bigger than him. He has more reach than him. This is a massive risk. And then the haters are going to be like, oh, wow. Well, he might get knocked out this time since this kid's actually the toughest opponent he's had yet. He, he is big, dude. Big. When I, <laughs> big. when I stood in between them for their face off in New York, he was as tall as me and about 20 pounds heavier. And I'm 205 right now, right? He's probably he's got to be 225, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, yeah. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. You know, and uh, I'm going to use my speed to my advantage. That's going to be the difference in this fight is the speed. You know, I don't think he's going to be able to get to me. You can have all the power you want in the world. That's like you could hit a heavy bag as hard as you want. It's because it's standing there. I'm not going to be there for him to hit me. And, you know, th- that's really the case. And sparring against heavyweights in the camp this far and yesterday, uh, it's been apparent that they can't hit me as good. and you guys are fighting at 200 pounds yes you're not worried about him making weight that's a lot of that's a lot i of am worried i am worried i am worried uh but i think he's doing it his weight was at like 210 uh yesterday so he's doing it gradually and everything should be good to go 